This is Mikhail Steven. Hello, it's me again, Steven. And today I am on a boat right now. We are going to an island right now. And um, yeah, it's going to be about three hours to get there. Uh, and we just ate breakfast already. We had some muffins and some bread and some uh, oatmeal. And now we, uh, it's around 6 in the morning, I think. Yeah, 6.30 in the morning and you had this beautiful sunrise. And I'll show you right now. Here. Our boat is over there and we started walking already. <laughs> so who came already here? First time for all of you. Vous savez peut-être combien ça coûte une nuit là-bas à l'hôtel? Non. Alors So, uh, Pomari family, to thank them, they give all the Tiarua uh, because we didn't have money before. Okay? Uh, so, he came here around 1904. So, he built all of this, this, the, this uh, little village. He lived here with his family in 1910. And he uh, just built uh, a rail. Did you see the ancient dock just next to the reef? Mm -hmm. It was an ancient uh, rail. So he, he was, uh, there is a little train because he collects all the copra, coconut, because he wanted to make coconut oil. He put in the train, uh, just bring next to the reef, bring all in the boat and bring all in Tahiti. Just to exchange uh, food with the food. So there is uh, also lake inside with the pass uh, in front uh, because they need also water. Okay, so uh, we will see, you will see later. So, um, Marlon Brando, he fell in love in, uh, of French Polynesia, a beautiful Polynesian lady too, and of course, Tetiarua too. So he wanted to buy this, and he bought this, uh, a part of Tetiarua in 1965. And two years later, he, he gets all of the Tiarua. Okay? So he lived here on this island for Grimatu for two years, here on this, uh, in these uh, ancient houses. Because uh, the fa William family, they left already, because they sell it to Marlon Brandon. So Marlon Brandon lived here for two years, and he wanted to move on the Onetahi Island, just next. Uh, where is the Brando's uh, hotel? Because he wanted to create an airport because it's a larger, a large uh, island. Sorry. So he wanted to create an airport and he wanted to create also a scientist center because he wanted to take care of the environment, protect the environment, etc., etc. So there is a, now um, a society called Tetiarua Society who take care of birds, birds, turtles, and all the vegetation. So uh, thanks to them because uh, we can still have uh, all of this because now it's disappeared. Even uh, uh, birds, they are just uh, uh, dangerous species. That's a good word? Endangered. And endangered, sorry. Endangered yeah, yeah. species. So that's the only birds we have now because uh, men, they are just going on the beach and they just uh, uh, much uh, how you say? step eggs. step yeah. step yeah. on the on the, the eggs oh. so now we don't have a lot and that's the uh, the only birds we have 
Do you have a question? Nice. <laughs> Thank you. This is the house that the guy lived in for two years. Wow. So this is a mix with uh, ground water and rain. So it's good. Uh, it's good to, to drink. It's a little bit salty, but it's, it's okay. Voilà. So before the Pomari family used to come here, and only the Pomari, uh, not anybody else, because it's a sacred uh, lake. Mm -hmm. And the uh, Pomari king used to come here with uh, all his women too. Oh. I don't know how many? But <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you if you if you asking for holes, this is the crabs' houses. Oh. So more it's big, more the crabs. <laughs> This is a flower called Kahaya and she just explained to us saying that it is a type of jasmine. So with the Mikimiki, the Tuomo, in Tuomotu Island, the east of French Polynesia, uh, Pomutu, the people who are living there, they are using Mikimiki to catch fish. So how? This so they are yes, Miki Miki. So they are uh, using the palm trees. They are making circle, and they are just uh, push the, the the fish next to the beach. And with this, they just uh, hide inside the Miki Miki, and people are just. Uh, uh, bringing them <laughs> to the beach okay. and other people are just preparing uh, the fire oh. and then directly to the fire. So that's uh, the best way when they are uh, catching the fish. Yeah. That's the ancient time. Now we have new generation, they have hooks. Yeah. <laughs> fish, fish. Yes. Yeah. So basically, she just explained that this is the plant right over here. And that they use this plant to make the houses, the carpet, um, also some jewelry also. And it's also used to make a necklace that has a very nice fragrance. So that's this tree over here and, and they kind of wait to mature it a little bit before they start taking it and to make the materials. And so, but also, um, if there is no food, they will use this plant to eat. Um, it will not taste very good, but they will use it and they will grind it to make a type of paste for bread. Wow! Is it beautiful? Wow! Yes! <laughs> So beautiful. Before we are going, I will just give you information over here. Voila! It looks so beautiful. This is the beach just in front. This is also the third island, so it's forbidden to, to go. Okay? Nobody are allowed to go. If we are seeing anybody, uh, nobody will come back here in Kutama. Like no father, no anybody. Okay? So just please respect and don't go on the third island. And so on that island over here, as we see over here, this island is forbidden for people to go to because there are some birds over there and those birds are endangered and the reason why is because they lay one egg a year in the sand over there and what people would do is they would walk over them and they would crush the eggs and kill them and so that is why we are not allowed to go um, on this island over here but we can go swimming over here or walk over there all the way but as long as we stay outside of these wooden poles over here, we should be okay. So yeah. Oh, a whole family of sea cucumbers. Wow. Oh dear. Holy moly, there's so many birds here. <laughs> so I'm trying to walk back and the rain is coming this way. You can see the clouds. 
It's coming. It's coming. I'm gonna be sucked into a storm and puke like crazy. Oh no. Anyways, yeah, the storm's coming, guys. Gotta be safe. So I need to hurry and go back so we can uh, get all wet and dirty. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Anyways, see you guys later. Au revoir. here today because it's been a really really exhausting day going to the lagoons uh, coming back eating um, and dealing with all this losing key situation and being locked out and worrying about thieves coming in and stealing it or even like hurting us so anyways i'll see you guys later and um, yeah so peace